Recently, I started a new newsletter and it's helping me grow my income. So if you are a mom blogger or you have a digital product business or if you're on Etsy or you're a content creator here on YouTube, a newsletter is your way to have ambassadors for your brand as well as growing your income. You have that hardcore audience that follows you, wants to learn from you, will take whatever you say as truth and buy your products. All right. I have several email lists for my different businesses, but this year I started two new newsletters. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you why I decided to do this instead of just focusing on my main list. My main list for Twins Mommy is over, has over 10,000 subscribers. My main list on Al McCain has over 20,000 subscribers. For years, I've had these two email lists with ConvertKit. I love these lists. These um, act as my funnel to help me grow my income. But I decided this year to step out of the box and try something new. I recently landed a gig with Beehive, which is a new email service platform. And I think they are doing wondrous things for content creators to make money. And I want to show you this. Here is my dashboard for my new newsletter. What I like about this is that as soon as you land on your dashboard, you get to see a live graph. This changes throughout the day for more people subscribing to this newsletter. It sort of acts as a Substack newsletter where people can go to the homepage. So down on the side here, you can copy the homepage and then we can see what it looks like. So it looks like a Substack newsletter where people can subscribe to get notified of new newsletters as well as look at the archive of past newsletters I've sent. So for this newsletter and specifically, I wanted to have one type of topic. A lot of Substack newsletters are focused on one type of topic and just goes all in into that. So for a content creator, if you in the future want to, let's say, have a product about YouTube marketing, then your Beehive newsletter will be about YouTube marketing tips or how to grow your YouTube audience tips, right? So it feeds into that type of product down the road so that when you do have that product, you have a prime audience that wants that information. Information. So while my newsletter for my mom blog or my freelance blog have a lot of subscribers, the topics on those are just targeted on the things that I've set up have already been set up. For my mom blog, I have a email course of how to start a blog. For my freelancing side, I have how to find your first client. So those are little email courses that I set up that are automated. They go through a series of five to seven emails and then they get a pitch and then they're dropped into my weekly newsletters. And my weekly newsletters are just information about what I'm doing at that moment, the latest blog post, latest YouTube video, latest Instagram post, whatever it is. And then that's pretty much it. I do market my products, of course, but it's not just focus on one aspect or one tip. So I really wanted to try this avenue of a newsletter that was all in into one aspect. And I think that would help immensely for content creators and bloggers that have a focused email list. You can definitely have an email list for your blog, but then I want you to have an email list that's focused on a product idea or service that you will have down the road. So if you want to be a Pinterest manager, your email list for your blog might already be focused on Pinterest management tips and giving your audience Pinterest tips. Your Beehive newsletter then could supplement Supplement that audience with ways to grow your income on Pinterest, perhaps. So your newsletter is all around that aspect of growing your Etsy business on Pinterest, for example, or growing your blog on Pinterest, blowing your growing your digital products on Pinterest. That is the newsletter. And every newsletter will have one little actionable tip about that. It will surround everything about Pinterest marketing, perhaps. You might link to your newsletter that you talked about. You might even rehash that. But that is focused on people that really want to focus on growing their income. That's what I mean by having a sort of additional newsletter to your business. And I think Beehive is the way to go. I do have an affiliate link so you can sign up for free. Your first 2,500 subscribers are free on this platform. So I use the free trial right now. It's 30 days, but I'm going to go right into the free option because I don't have 2,500 subscribers yet, right? So I do have a couple months to really get to know Beehive and understand that. You'll get to see 
the options of monetization behind this email platform that not a lot of the platforms have. So this is what it looks like. You can give people this link on social media and have people sign up. I did that on LinkedIn because this is a LinkedIn newsletter. I got most of my subscribers on LinkedIn, right? So I am right now funneling people, getting people to learn LinkedIn tips and down the road, I might have a LinkedIn course, a LinkedIn ebook, a LinkedIn something for them down the road. But I am funneling them for other things. Uh, one specific thing that I'll get to later on. But after you sign up, your job is to create this landing page. And Beehive makes it super easy to create this landing page. It goes through just like a WordPress website builder. This has the same idea. So you can create your logo in Canva. That's exactly what I did. I created this logo in Canva. So this is what I created. I just used 3D elements. I really like the way that looks looks like on canvas. So if I go to elements and then I just type in 3D laptop, I can see all the 3D laptops. And so if I wanted to use something like this, then you know, whatever, if you're going to do like Pinterest marketing, so you might want to maybe have a one that's purple instead, do something like that, a clash, see if there's something for Pinterest. Ooh, here's a nice blue one, but I can do Pinterest here, right? And then if you want to do like making money on Pinterest, then you can have a 3D money. So I can put 3D money. Oh, and that's nice. There you go. So your logo for your newsletter can be as simple as this. And then you can also add a shadow behind it. But I I believe Beehive does that for you already. So that's what exactly what I did here. So once you download it, you can upload it, go to logo and then upload it right here. Okay, and then go through each iteration here. The global colors you can set. You can make this all black if you want, or color, the typography, what you want here. I just have the basics. And then the global navigation. So I have all this as well. I think with the layout under here, you can add menu items here, it looks like. So you have your login and subscribe. You can add more menu items. Standalone pages, you can add standalone pages here under layout. There's a lot here. All that, you can design your archive archive layout, how you want it positioned. So I can have my archive set like this, like a grid, or I can list it instead, whatever you like. So you can optimize it that way. I like the grid because it reminds me of like a Substack newsletter and Substack seems to be more popular. And I like Beehive because there are a lot of things that you can monetize within the newsletter that Substack may not have. All right, so take the time to have fun creating your website page for this newsletter. And then once you have all that, you can start sharing it on social media. But I do want to share with you the analytics here are really good. They show like under audience, the growth you have each day, where they're getting it. So that's good to know your engagement on your emails that you send out. And then under monetization, there are some options that you can use. If you set up your Stripe account with them, then you can go to this boost marketplace and you can based on your audience recommend other newsletters. And and it says earn up to 160% or earn $2 per subscriber. So if your subscribers end up signing up to these, then you get $2 for that. It's amazing how much money you can earn just by recommending other newsletters. That is something that I'm interested in doing soon. Under monetization, you have the ability to add ads to your newsletter. I'm not set up for monetization, so I'm not going to have any available opportunities, but I would once I set up my Stripe account. So I can turn this into a paid newsletter if I wanted to have gated content. So that is a nice opportunity for you once you have this free information. If you want to even instead of having the course, you can have a membership or paid option for that and then just delve out that information as if it was the course lesson for a newsletter. And then we talked about boosts. Within Beehive, there are loads of opportunities for content creators and bloggers to generate income with every newsletter that they send. I am excited to explore this option. I haven't quite yet because I want to still fulfill my free trial and then get onto the, pl the plan for 2,500 subscribers on the free plan right there. So I'm just waiting on that aspect of it. But for you, you should jump on the wagon and start your newsletter 
here. The creator of this tie is very helpful. He is on LinkedIn. He has his own Beehive newsletter. He responds to emails. He responds to comments. He's very helpful. This is, you know, something that you, you can't get in ConvertKit or Mailer Lite. You know, you're schlepped off to the customer service people. But you can definitely talk to the creator of Beehive. They are willing and open to hear from creators like you and bloggers like you. So let's look at how you can specifically monetize this newsletter aside from within the platform. One thing that you can start doing is funneling people to your Etsy store or your digital products page with every newsletter. What Beehive does great is that you can have a line break that almost looks like it's its own ad. So within your email, you can it can look like an ad and that could be something to market your products. I put it at the bottom of my posts, but I I can play around definitely of how to place this ad. For example, the newsletter that I sent out, I have something here at the bottom right here. So you can have a line break, your ad, and then a line break after the button. Uh, it's very easy to create an email with these buttons. It's very stylized. You can add a lot of things. You can embed videos. You can embed posts from social media. Super easy. I was going to do something here. Not to edit post. Go and start writing. It's a very intuitive platform. You put the title here, the subtitle, make sure to show your author. You can have guest authors if you want. You can display the date or not. And then you can start writing, start writing here. If you want to have like a newsletter banner, so I press the plus sign here and I can do image and then use from library. The library of all the images that you already put in is saved. So I don't have to keep uploading it and finding that image. I did that a couple of times because I didn't realize it. So like this image, Image. I put it in like four times, but now I can just click on it because that's how I start my newsletter. I have one sentence, have my image, and then I get right into it. I can, like I said here, buttons are really nice. Content breaks. There's lots of things here you can add. You can embed a link, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, premium members. You can have the advertising so you can just upload that real easily. You can have polls. You can pull your audience, add your boosts here. Lots of cool things that you can do once you have um, a paid subscription to their content or the plan that you are on, but I can have a table of contents, lots of things here that I haven't really explored, but I've been using the content breaks, the images and the buttons. So with the button, I can just have it subscribe, see my recommendations, read online, share the newsletter, check out my website. I can tell people to share my newsletter. I can say, remember, I want to grow my list. Can you help me grow my list? Share my newsletter. Here's the link to share on social media. I can do something like that or I can customize it and have whatever I want, right? So there's a lot of cool features to writing your email that I don't have in ConvertKit. So that's why I like using Beehive and learning how to use this platform. So while you can set the buttons for your affiliate products and you know have it as sort of an ad, you can also just add your affiliate links or post with affiliate links. I don't think there's a disclaimer here on the Beehive platform that you need to disclose or that they don't allow uh, links. I know some platforms don't allow like MailChimp, but I believe if you want to, you can drop your links or you can just be on the safe side and drop the blog post with the affiliate links so you can start earning income. You know, maybe as a content creator, you rely on a set of tools. For every YouTube video, you have affiliate links for every one of those tools. A cool thing that I'm considering doing with this newsletter to grow my income is to have sort of this one-time offer of a webinar training. I think that would work well for a Beehive newsletter like this because they are targeted and they are interested in one topic. So for my LinkedIn Accelerator newsletter, I can have a webinar training on like how to optimize your LinkedIn profile and charge like $27 for that. So I can immediately, once I have, let's say 100 subscribers and a good open rate, then I can send that out to my newsletter and so that they can get dibs on that webinar training. So that's something to consider. I am hesitant to do it with my other list because it is broad. It's a broader list. But with these focus lists, I think you'll make more money because more people will sign up. And then just like Beehive has the paid option for their newsletters, you can funnel people to your paid newsletter. I don't have a paid newsletter with Beehive. I actually created it with ConvertKit because I am a ConvertKit user and I wanted to see their platform for creators. 
colors. It's not my favorite. I might eventually switch to Beehive once my audience grows. I have a feeling I'm going to move it to Beehive, but I do have a paid newsletter. So I am marketing my paid newsletter and I am slowly growing my subscribers on that platform. So I'm excited about the potential of using this newsletter to funnel people to my paid newsletter. So if you're interested in more ways to grow your income, make sure to check out my video on the six income streams that you can start doing today as a content creator or a blogger. All right. And I hope to see you in that video. Make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you later. All right.